Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time here, my name is Beck. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, it's not very often you see my face at the beginning of videos, and that is because usually it is my breakfast. But today was a different day because although it was a work day, I wasn't working in my school. I was working in a hotel. We had interviews, so I was just doing meet and greets there. So I didn't take a photo, or I didn't take a photo, I didn't take a video of my breakfast. And that was because... I was in a room with lots of other people and I kind of forgot. But I did take a photo of my dinner. So for my breakfast, I had a pan of chocolate. I'm going to put the calories here so you can see them because I still counted everything. And for my dinner, I had this and then I'll pop the calories as well for that. Now, for my tea, it's all been a bit of a crazy day actually because even though I didn't work as long as I normally do, before I finished, I had a phone call off Jeff to say that if you remember watching a couple of weeks ago, if you've been here for that length of time, we went to visit Jeff's cousin in London and she's just moved over here from the Philippines. Tonight, she's on her way, as we speak now, she's on a bus on her way to see us. Now, it was all last minute. She's off work, I think, on Monday as well. So he managed to book a ticket, get this, from London to Cardiff for £1.80. Going back on Monday from Cardiff to London, 90 pence. So it's an absolute bargain. Um, I mean, you can't, as my friend said to me earlier, you can't even get to the station for that. So yeah, that is an absolute bargain. And it's really exciting because she's never been to Wales before. So, I mean, she's only been in London for a couple of weeks. So it is really exciting because it's the first time, apart from his sister coming over to see us, she stayed with us for a while. It's the first time any of his family have ever been here to the house. So it is really exciting. And it's going to be a lovely weekend. It was going to be a lovely weekend anyway because, and this is what else I want to talk to you about, there's lots of things going on this weekend. Now I've kind of, I was toying with the idea of should I not count my calories this weekend because if I... Do, I'm just going to be saying I'm ending over. Do I allow myself easier days for the two days? I'm still undecided. I still don't know what to do for the best. I do know that I am going to pick up the camera and record because if I don't, it's kind of going to give me a license to eat what I like. And then I will be paying for it next week. In the sense that if I haven't, or if I know that I haven't got to record them, my videos, then... I'm not just going to eat as I normally would. I'm probably going to go... I should I should give myself some credit, really, because I know that if I obviously put my mind to it, I can stop myself from having nice things because I've lost nearly five stone. If I think to myself there's a little tiny, tiny bit of leeway, this is the mindset I'm in at the moment. I know what I'll be like. So I'm going to still record, however, I can't promise that I'm going to be within my calories for both days, but I am going to try. So I think that's the important thing. I'm going to try, which means that I haven't even told you what's going on. So tonight we're going to have a takeaway and that has been ordered. So I will be going to collect that shortly. And then tomorrow it is my goddaughter's birthday party. So there's going to be lots and lots of food there. And I mean lots and lots of food. I don't know what I'm going to be like. I'm going to try. I might even try and take my own things so I can kind of stay on plan at least for one of the meals. And then just because it'll probably be a two meal kind of party. That's what they're like. <laughs> and then on Saturday, apart from it being Father's Day, we've got a Chinese meal in a restaurant. So it's going to be kind of a fully loaded weekend, but do you know what, as I sit here and I record this, I'm going to try my best to stay within my calories because if I don't, what is the point? But then I also think life's too short to keep saying no to everything all the time. As my daughter said to me, so you're just going to eat what you like, like normal people do. And I'm like, oh, she doesn't like the idea of me calorie counting. But for me, it's just kind of a portion control thing. So here we are. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna just gonna I'm just gonna go with flow this weekend. So I'm just giving you the heads up that this is what I'm doing. 
it's going to be a very eventful weekend or event filled weekend I should say shouldn't I so yeah so there's not much food going on today because I'm going to collect the takeaway now and we're on 10 past 7 so by the time I get over there and and then come back and I thought it's easier to do it now get my video uploaded because otherwise by the time I've eaten it and then we go to pick her up because it's going to be late in Cardiff yeah so that's why I'm doing it now I'm probably a little bit all over the place bear with I'm not like this all the time if you're new here <laughs> yeah but I am sometimes I have got a stir fry in my fridge that I will cook to go alongside my um, rice tonight. So it'll kind of even out, not even out, it'll just, it'll be healthier than me having all of the Chinese takeaway meal. So that's the plan. I'm gonna allow myself a little bit. And that's what I did, I didn't even finish telling you that story. That's what I did today. Now the plate of food that you've seen, I didn't eat all of that. Now, it was a buffet, but it was a finger buffet on a plate. So because of obviously the restrictions that are in place everywhere, they plated the food up for us so you could see what it has. In fact, I'll put it here again in case you've forgotten because it was a lot of food. And there was probably a whole sandwich cut in three lengthways. And then there was a chicken, a mini fillet, onion bargees, samosas, a pot of wedges, I think that was it and then a pot of fruit as well so obviously I didn't have any issues with the fruit I had that no problem but with the rest of it because I'm weighing tomorrow oh yeah and it's weigh day tomorrow amongst all of this <sighs> I only allowed myself a little bit of a few of the things or maybe a little bit oh there was also a sausage roll now then I did have a bite of the sausage roll I did have one samosa, I did have one onion bhaji, I had the chicken fillet and then I had one sandwich and then a bite of the other two. Wasteful, I know. And then a couple of the wedges. I think that's covered everything that was on the plate from my memory because I can't see the photo as I say I'm going to put it here. But that's the plan. So I, I'm trying to just allow myself a little bit of what I fancy so that I'm not going all out. And at the moment, that seems to be working. So I'll obviously keep you updated because, you know, these things are sent to try us. This is the kind of the ups and downs, the bump in the road. And yeah, it is what it is. It's going to be a weekend where I'm going to be trying my best to stay as on plan as I can. And obviously, I'll fill you in with my weigh-in update tomorrow, which I hope is a good one, actually, because I did increase my exercise this week. I have increased my vegetables and we'll see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you over the weekend. I hope you all have a good one.